It doesn't matter how I'm feeling, I will never get tired of having a lovely cup of tea. As you all well know by this point. How's it going my fellow Geeklings? You are watching, yes, watching a video from the Auburn Phoenix today and this is Tea Stories. Multiple reasons why I'm doing this in video format today because I have got this lovely Canon M50 mirrorless camera which is absolutely stunning. I'm still working it out trying to figure out what the ins and outs of it are but it's a great camera and I'm going to be using this a lot more for future projects and for YouTube. I've also got this mic stand, which I have needed to stand for this microphone because, quite frankly, I was sick of balancing it on my tripod. It's actually attached to my chest of drawers, but please don't tell anyone because otherwise they'll think I'm a professional, and that's why I'm whispering, even though this is going to be multiplied on YouTube. It doesn't matter. That's the whole reason why I wanted to do this in video format because I really wanted an excuse to use this camera and plus I just miss doing YouTube. I know I haven't done a video in ages. But I'm just going to be honest with you. I just haven't wanted to. Just haven't had the drive or motivation to make YouTube videos. And I thought to myself, you know what? I wasn't really enjoying the content that was putting out. So we shall see where the future takes us. And speaking of motivation, that brings me onto the subject of today's video, which is the lockdown. Not just in the UK, not just in America, but all over the world. The thing I've noticed with people in lockdown and since this pandemic started is a lot of people have been feeling really low and the fact they haven't been feeling motivated. And I completely understand where they're coming from because I have had these days where I have felt low, I felt horrible, and I felt like I should be doing more, but Unfortunately, that's just the way of life. The reason I'm doing this video is just to hopefully give you some words of encouragement and hopefully try and lift your spirits up because trust me, we need that at this time in our lives. It's taken me till the third lockdown to realize this, but I realize now that you need to take one step at a time. Like it's th this COVID situation is not gonna go away overnight. And trust me, we're coming up to the year mark where COVID actually struck, we were placed into our first lockdown and then the world just stopped. I completely understand that it is grinding on you and that it is making you feel low and your self-esteem is low. But let me tell you something that happened to me the other day. And it's simple, but it made me realize how important it is to look after yourselves. Just after Christmas, I thought to myself I wasn't being productive. Every day I was waking up with the same thing that had been said the night before. Uh, today wasn't really my day, so I'm just going to go to sleep and then start again tomorrow. It's a trap! That sound familiar? It should, because I've said it a lot, and you have probably said it just as much. Everybody needs a time to just recharge the batteries, just to relax. This actually happened to me two weeks ago. I woke up, and instead of telling myself I was going to be productive, I said to myself, I'm just going to have a day of rest, which we all need to let ourselves have, because if you don't, then you're going to stress yourselves out, and you're not going to want to do anything at all, because... You're just going to despise the things that you actually enjoy. When I woke up and I said this, I actually stayed in my pajamas all day. The only time I actually changed my clothes was when I had a shower to get changed into another pair of pajamas. <laughs> Instead of forcing myself to be productive, I decided to make myself cups of tea because that's what I like. Eat whatever the hell I want and just stay in bed and just binge watch Netflix. And I ended up watching nearly the whole series of Queen's Gambit in a day. And trust me, if you haven't seen that series... Highly recommend it. Go watch it. It's a good watch. Honestly, the hype is real, people. By having that day of rest, I actually recharged my batteries and my mind felt fresh the next day because I didn't have to tell myself I'm going to be creative and productive. I just was in, out of instinct because I'd actually given myself the leeway to have a day off. And I know that sounds really weird because, like, obviously, if you're in lockdown... We've had so many days off. Some of those people who are still working and just haven't stopped working since the pandemic. Thumbs up to you guys. You're doing an amazing job. Really well done. Thank you. But on the flip side, with all the people who have got all this extra time off, just literally do the things that you have not had the chance to do before the pandemic. Because how many times have we said to ourselves we want to do something new, learn a new skill, take up a new hobby and all that, but things in life just seem to get in the way. But now we can't do any of that. You might as well take full advantage of it. One thing I've done during this lockdown is rekindle my love of writing because I love creating my own scripts, writing my own stories. And I just thought to myself, why did I stop doing that? Why did I, why did I ever stop writing? Then it dawned on me, it's like, oh, because I was doing all these other things. And then by the time I got home, I was thinking, oh my God, I'm too tired. I don't want to even stress on that. But now it 
It feels like a luxury to me because I'm actually doing it because I enjoy it, not because of the force that I have to. It's the same with so many other things, like I have rekindled my love of video games, love of comic books, love of just geeky things, and just doing things I enjoy. And trust me, I've been playing Kingdom of Hearts quite a lot recently, so... Wait, did I say Kingdom of Hearts? Kingdom Hearts. I know how hard it is, guys. I really do. And, like, we all feel really down about ourselves because we're not doing certain things and we sh feel like we should be further. But there's not a lot we can do. So tell yourself this. Everyone is in the same position. We're all in this together. And I don't mean that in, like, a politician way. We are all in this together. You must stay at home, save lives, support the NHS, and not get haircuts. But I, I've, ma I've managed to not get a haircut all my life because I look like a, a chimpanzee. Yes, a ch job done. I apologize for that terrible impression, but, you know, hey ho. We haven't got the luxuries that we used to. We can't just go out to pubs and have a pint, go to a restaurant willy-nilly, the cinema, theatres, bowling, loads of activities that we used to do. This COVID is not going to go away overnight. And trust me, it's nearly been a year and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. It's going to suck for a long time. Be kind to yourself and take the time that you have to do things that you enjoy. Like, if you want to sit down and watch that entire film franchise that you've never had the chance to watch, do that. If you want to take up a new hobby, if you want to learn to draw, if you want to learn how to use a camera, like that, you can get loads of cheap cameras online and do that. If you want to learn an instrument, try doing that. Or literally just rekindling with friends. One thing that has saved a lot of people is online quizzes. Trust me, I have been part of many Zoom quizzes and <laughs> they are fun. Trust me, so that is an excuse to just talk and see your friends. And if you are feeling really low, do not bottle it up. I say it all the time. Don't bottle it up. Talk to somebody. Or if you don't feel comfortable talking to somebody, write it down. Write things down in a journal or open up a Word document on your laptop and just write down things that you feel happy with. It could be something as simple as getting dressed, having a shower, or cooking food or something like that. I had a journal for Christmas as part of like the Super Mario gift set and it came with a mug, a coaster, a pen, and then this... Um, a5 notepad so i decided that every day in the new year i was going to write something down that i was happy with or that i felt like i'd accomplished i've missed a few days but i am still trying to keep on top for the best i can and it really helps me guys honestly and it could be something as simple as i decided to make my family a chili con carne so i decided to walk over to Lidl's and get the ingredients so that i could cook them for when everyone had finished working from home and then there would be food on the table. Something as simple as that is just a big accomplishment to me because it feels like I've done something that benefits not only myself, but other people in my household. I know this has been a very waffly video, guys, but I just wanted to get that point across. It's like, it's okay to feel not okay, especially during this time. But just remember, there are loads and loads of people in the same boat as you. Just use the time to be kind to yourself. Like, one thing I'm actually going to start doing after this is watching every single WWE Royal Rumble match that has ever happened. And the Royal Rumble's on Sunday. I might get through pretty much all of them. But again, that's something I haven't done. So why not? Got the time to do it. Nothing wrong with it. Well, thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you did enjoy it, despite the fact it was all over the place. But if you did enjoy it or you would like to hear me talk about something in particular, leave a comment below, give it a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff that YouTube likes you to do. Just to give you guys a heads up, there will be a podcast concept coming very soon. It's not going to be tea stories, but it is something that I am very passionate about and I feel like a lot of people could benefit from. Keep a lookout for anything that I keep post on my social medias or anything like that. But until next time, guys, I've been Scott Anthony Christie and you've been watching The Auburn Phoenix. Take care. Stay safe. Love you all. Bye-bye.